Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Jaguar Land Rover St. Petersburg, and guess what? We have a very interesting performance SUV. It's this one here. This is a 2023 Land Rover Defender V8, but guess what? It's the V890. But before we get into this short wheelbase, two-door, supercharged, power supreme, let's talk about what's going on here. Land Rover. Many people don't realize, but Land Rover still to this day are some of the most capable off-road vehicles. Now, we already brought you the Defender V8, the 110, which remember, 110 is that longer wheelbase. 130 is coming up soon. We're gonna have that for you. That's that three-row SUV with the supercharged V8 power. Now, when I saw this, I was like, man, they really have shortened it up, but guess what? They have power packed punched underneath the hood with that five liter supercharged V8. It's fascinating because if you look at the Bronco, I know they're kind of two different styles of vehicles, but it's interesting to think that I feel this is more what people want out of their Bronco, especially if you have a two-door Bronco like Lori does. Lori has a Bronco Wild Track two-door. I think this is the way that you wish Ford would have went. So what I want to find out is, should Ford build a V8 powered Bronco? They got the Bronco Raptor, but it doesn't have a V8. This Defender though, especially with that short wheelbase, does have a V8. On top of that, it's a supercharged V8. So let's go ahead, let's find out if you think Ford should build a Bronco like this, and is this the best new performance SUV to buy? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, the black color, very sinister. This is like, a Land Rover that Batman would want to drive, especially with that V8 power. Now at the front of the business, you got more metal flake in this black paint than your grandfather has on his balls, his bowling balls. You can see all that metal flake in there. LED daytime running lamp, LED headlight, and I love the way they styled the turn signals. Work our way down on the Defender V8 models. They black out everything. So normally this would be silver, blacked out, fully functional because we have massive heat exchangers behind there and LED lighting. Remember this Defender does have adaptive air ride suspension so you can lower it or raise it and it could go through about three feet of water. That's pretty insane. Now when we come across the front, I always felt like this Defender, when they brought the Defender back, especially here to the United States because it had been gone for a while, they did a really good job of making it this modern retro style. You'll notice nice, clean openings up top. You got the Land Rover badge, working your way down. You have some flat black egg crate shape with your forward facing camera. My only zonk is we need a washer on that because of all the mud when you're going supercharged V8 off-roading. And then they have it painted black on the lower portion. Nice, clean look. Now, when we get up onto the hood, it does have the Defender name, I know I've said this before, I wish they would get rid of the emblems and actually just press the name Defender in it. I think it would just clean up the whole thing. We have a large anti-glare stripe to keep glare from blinding you when you're behind the wheel. And I like the way it's got the 90. Remember, 90 is the short wheelbase, which is what we have. It's only a two-door. When we come around the bend, you got that sexy flared fender. It's interesting because if you look at the new Lexus GX and the Toyota Land Cruiser, it's got the same fender shape, but you're not getting V8 power underneath the hood of those. What you are getting on the outside are gonna be these massive 22 inch wheels. Love that matte gray finish, single, uh, simple five spoke design. You got massive six piston Brembo calipers. Yes, everything is massive. 22 inch wheel, 22 inch tire, six piston calipers, rotors that are about 15 inches in diameter. And then I love the way everything just blends in nicely with that metallic paint job. Coming down the side, we have functional fender vents. Remember, we're gonna be building a lot of heat. Functional fender vents. And you see this design on the hood? It's interesting, because a lot of times people wanna say, well, why is this here? On the old Land Rovers, you would have these metal panels so that you could stand on top of the hood to put things up on the cargo basket. Don't stand on this. It's not gonna work. Working your way down the side, kind of simple where they put the v8 badge i wish they would have put it a little bit higher maybe right there or maybe here down there it's a little bit low it gets lost you have your unique shape on your defender 
side mirrors, 360 degree cameras, smoked out on the lenses for the turn signals. And then you got that flat roof, safari glass, two door. I mean, look how short this thing is. I think when we go on throttle, this thing's gonna pop a wheelie. That's what I really think. No, it's not gonna do that because we do have all wheel drive to get the power to the ground, beefy two speed transfer case, locking diffs, Working our way towards the rear though, large, probably the largest quarter window. It's bigger than on the Bronco, I could tell you that. Let a lot of natural light in, especially with the safari glass up top. And then swinging around back, it just looks sick. The way they do the lighting, very, very, like I said, modern, but retro. Look at the quad tip exhaust. Wait until we let this V8 sing. Two exhaust tips on both sides. You do have towing uh, capability and you have your rear spare mounted the way it should be but why don't we go ahead let's pop the hood and take a look at the v8 in this defender all right guys we got the hood pop there is the muscle underneath the hood that's a supercharged v8 i don't like the way the engine cover really just hides that top mounted supercharger i wish they would let it shine through that but what do we got a five liter supercharged v8 pumping out 518 horsepower 461 pound-feet of torque, made it to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 4.1 seconds, quarter mile in 12.9 seconds at 109 miles per hour, top speed around 150 miles per hour. It weighs 5,334 pounds. MPGs, if you're really curious about that, go find yourself a Bronco Sport. This gets 15 in the city, 19 on the highway. You got that adaptive air suspension. You can see all the lines and the wires here. I wanna pull this off. I wanna just rip this off because underneath there is a supercharger. But why don't we go ahead, looking at it is one thing. We'll sort of looking at it because this covers here, but I wanna hear it. So let's go ahead, let's fire up this beast and hear what it sounds like. Hi guys, inside this 2023 Defender 90 V890, which is what's crazy. We've already done a two-door Defender. That's not the big surprise. I'm just shocked that they do a two-door V8 powered Defender 90. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I want the baddest Mama Jamma off-roader that I could find. My friend, he bought a Bronco Raptor. He calls it a Braptor. I said, whoopity doo da where's the V8? I looked at Jeeps, I looked at the Wrangler 392, but I'm not really a Jeep person. I am digging this Land Rover Defender 90 with the V8. How much is it? MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is right at $112,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Ginormous doors. First of all, those doors are almost as big as the back portion of this vehicle. I love the exposed screws, really gives it a nice kind of back to the basics feel. Smooth, soft touch material. You got the Meridian sound system and no gloss black. And look at that door pocket. You could easily put, I would say four foot long meatball subs in there from Subway. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same story. You got a nice old crap panel for your passenger, the Defender name, a USB-C, and you could put a baker's dozen of off-road Twinkies. You do get the 11.4 inch PIVI Pro infotainment system, easy to navigate through. You got your three screens, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's all wireless. You got all these different apps, really, really nice. See, like I told you, you could go in the water, no problem with this thing. Working our way down, you do have physical knobs and buttons to shut off like the pesky auto start stop. This is interesting. So to adjust your blower fan speed, you use this. Now to adjust the temperature, that's where you then twist the knob itself. So you see how it's got dual climate? I'm adjusting that to make this be the other part of the dual climate, you go like that. Now to do seats, ventilated seats, three stages, or you could do heated seats, three stages. So 
easy to figure out. I'm gonna put it back to just easy peasy clean. You got your circulation going on. This is gonna control that eight speed automatic transmission. Down below, you got a USB-C, a USB-A, a 12 volt, and a pass-through for a purse, a purse, a bag, a sack of apples, or a bag of rocks. This is a nice little place where you can put two English muffins, since we're in a British built vehicle, two English muffins. You got a place for some Twizzlers right here. And then there's your Land Rover key fob, British racing green, as always. Soft touch material, open this bad boy up. Get these papers out of here and junk. We got a cooler, so you could actually put, I would say, four bottles of Yoohoo, turn on the, the chiller there, and then of course the seats. Love the way it's got the leather, the stitching, all the way around, really nicely done. Power seats for the passenger, power seats for the driver, and you have a ginormous panoramic sunroof, nice and high, digital rear view mirror, and almost forgot to show you, we do have wireless charging here as well. So if you don't put the Slim Jims here or the Twizzlers, you could put your phone to charge. Let me put this back on me. Let's go ahead, get your butt over here because guess what? I got an Alcantara wrap steering wheel I want to introduce you to. Come on over. Hi right, guys, come on into the business side. You got three memory seat settings, a V8 badge that illuminates at night, and then the pedal box, good size. Nice aluminum brake pedal, throttle, and dead pedal. You got your seat controls, adjust the seats 20 different ways from Sunday. I love the amount of room in here. If you need more room, you have some severe growing issues because plenty of room in here, I'm six feet tall. Now what's fascinating, let me know if you like it or not, you do get Alcantara on the steering wheel. Not so sure if I go off-roading, I want an Alcantara steering wheel, but right now it feels really good. You do have metal paddles that are ginormous for the ZF8 speed. You got your Granny Smith apple holder, put a Granny Smith apple in there, and then you got your digital gauge display. Nice clear graphics, fonts, and a head-up display. So they got that all taken care of in here, but I'll do it, I'll do it just for you. We're gonna get in the back seat and see how much room there is in this Defender. All right guys, business time in the back seat. Now, it's fascinating because you have so much room in here. I love the safari glass windows, really gives you a bird's eye view of what's going on outside. It is a little challenging getting back here, but once you're back here, the seats are comfy, plenty of headroom. It's hard for Steven to show you because we'd have to flip-flop the whole camera angle, but you do have your AC vents, all your AC controls and USB-Cs. Cup holders are located down below, so you could get your Yeti can in here or your Bigfoot can with your hot cocoa while you're going off-roading through the snow looking for uh, a Yeti or maybe even Bigfoot, I don't know, or maybe you're just looking for Santa Claus, but. I love the way they got the old crap handles back here so you can hold on for dear life. But let's get to the cargo area because I want to take you on throttle in this supercharged Defender. All right, guys, cargo area time. Very similar, just like on Lori's Bronco. You swing it open, but there's no separation of the glass and the rear door. It all swings open. What's nice is you have your off-road Twinkie tray, nicely positioned. You could easily put six off-road Twinkies. Cargo space is going to be limited. We chopped the back off of this Defender you're gonna lose some cargo space. It's actually less than the Bronco, but the good news is if you need more and nobody's sitting in the back seat, those seats will fold down. You do have the ability to raise and lower the rear of the vehicle because we have that air ride suspension. And check this bad boy out. You got a home power source, bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Right back there, but you know what? I was gonna say something, but these beefy tow hooks, I just noticed that with the door open. Steven, show them the beefy tow hooks for God's sakes. I love the way they have those. That's where you're gonna be able to pull the Broncos that are stuck. Just yank them right out of the mud. Just go on throttle and just rip them right out of the mud. Especially make sure there's a lot of slack in the, uh, in the line. That always makes for a fun time. But if you're ready, I'm ready. I know another thing that is gonna make you have some fun. Let's go on throttle in this Defender. All right, guys, we are behind the wheel of this 2023 Defender 90 with the supercharged V8. This thing is just out of control. It really is out of control. I'm gonna to come to a complete stop. Nobody's behind us. You can see on the digital rear view, rear view mirror and we're gonna go on throttle. On throttle, here we go, look at that. Oh, nice. Love the roar of that mighty five liter V8. The shifts from the ZF8 speed are so precise. 
and really that all-wheel drive system just keeps the power to the ground with the air ride suspension it sort of looked like we were ready for takeoff like we were going to pop a wheelie but uh, thankfully with the all-wheel drive that kept us planted so smooth so comfortable so confident that's how this vehicle is going to make you feel driving it and i'm not really into all black vehicles but the black on this defender 90 i have to admit looks pretty killer you got your clear instrumentation that over 11 inch pivy pro system and then you get just the right amount of roar from the v8 i really think that they did a great job with making it sound good they're not pumping a bunch of stuff in through speakers or anything like that and you're getting that instant low down grunt another thing that's wonderful about the 90 you can make a u-turn in this thing like it's going out of style that's how easy it is cruising down the road with those 22 inch wheels very very comfortable you got a nice size head up display and I just love the way they have all of these different storage areas for your Twinkies, for your things, your Yeti bottles, and everything else. But why don't we go ahead, let's go on throttle again. I'm gonna slow down here, and we're gonna go on throttle. Our throttle, here we go, drops down, and we are off to the races. Mm, love that roar. Of course, you're gonna get some nose dive when you're on the brakes and there is a bit of body roll, this is not a corner carver, but where this thing really comes into play is gonna be that off-road superiority. But it's the V8 sound, which I can't get enough of. But still very competent with the handling. It is a little bouncy, but like I said, this is the type of vehicle that it is. If you're thinking that you're getting some Canyon carver, you're not you're getting the vehicle that's down in the canyon where it's all rocky and ripped up and you got rivers to cross and all this other stuff going on. That's where this really comes into play. One more time, on throttle. God. <laughs> I tell you that V8 sound never, ever, ever gets old. It really does not. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make a U-turn. This one is actually a little generous. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna make a turn here and then we're gonna make another U-turn. Just to show you how easy it is, it's, it's to be able to steer this vehicle, especially with the height, with the overall size, it's just, it's a piece of cake. It's almost like you have rear wheel steering. It's, that's how just seamless it is. I'm making a U-turn here. Hopefully this guy in this truck is paying attention. He is, look at that. Right back into that lane. And then you just get on throttle. I mean, it's that easy. Nice shifts from the ZF eight-speed automatic. And getting to that Pivi Pro system is well within reach. I like the way you still have real knobs and buttons to get through the AC controls and your heated and ventilated seats. And the back seat, even though it's a little bit of a stretch to get in, has plenty of room, even with adults. And how do I know that? Not only did I sit back there, but right now Steven is sitting back there and taking care of some Steven Flood photo business on his phone while we're getting the on throttle section done for this review. But hopefully this has been a fun overall review, especially something so unique, not only a Defender V8, but a Defender 90 V8. We're gonna get back to Jaguar Land Rover St. Pete and wrap this one up. So I will see you in a supercharged second. All right, guys, it's been another on throttle kind of day, especially with this Defender 90. Gotta thank Miro and the rest of the crew here at Jaguar Land Rover St. Pete for getting us access. Let me know what you think. Is this what Ford should have done with the Bronco? Will Ford make a V8-powered Bronco? And if you're looking for a down and dirty performance SUV that kind of does a little bit of everything, is this the way to go? Let me know down in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. It's all about the water. He's hydrating out here. He lives by his last name, taking in as many fluids as he can. Show him some love in the comment section. 
Thank you, Stephen, for sweating it out here with me. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.